Good morning, folks. It is a cold and rainy day. Really, really cold and really, really rainy. And I decided instead of fish in these cold temps, because the mountain has a fresh dusting of snow, I'm going to pe- be productive on this bad day. And I'm going to go look for future camping spots because I have to move every 16 days. And I'm also going to check the roads to see which fishing spots are accessible. So come with me on this journey. It's going to be fun. We're going to explore some new camping spots as well as um, see which fishing spots we can access. Hopefully cast a couple lines. Let's see what we can do. You ready, Brooke? Hey, guys. Here's a little suspect camp spot where it's really flat where I'm at right now. Got some pretty rocks in the background. And I have full LTE service, which having service is important to me for safety purposes. So this is a good option. And it's off a, it's not off a main road, which I also like. Unfortunately, I end up camping off main dirt roads a lot so people can see you from the road which is okay but here they wouldn't really be able to see me from the main dirt road so that's cool i'm definitely gonna have to camp here this is a blm one too which i like the blm laws a lot i just saw mosquitoes it's like what may early may and there's already mosquitoes out what the heck i'm not prepared for mosquito life the mosquitoes get so hey bad. Guys, here. so I'm really excited about this little spot I just found because I have full service LTE. I'm way up here in the mountains, which I like being far away from everything and everybody. And this is the dead end of a little dirt road. So I can't imagine a lot of people coming down to this dead end road that goes to nothing. Plus there's a couple trees here. I could maybe hunker down for some shade. Maybe, maybe not. This is a good spot. I'm like, do you approve or disapprove? You tell me now. I'm thinking I'd probably have to come in and end up hugging that tree and parking it right there. And then my door would be facing my way towards the truck because I'm going to have to be able to get out one way or another. And it's not going to be easy. It's pretty tight in here. There's lots of big rocks. And look how much snow there is. Ugh. Oh my gosh. This summer is going to be a real trial of my patience. What's up guys? I am back at camp. I think I ended up finding about four new camp spots, so that's exciting. I'm having a little caramel yogurt snack, and Brookie just ate a little snack as well from her little food dish. So cold, you guys. (laughs) This is the warmest place right here in my bed, under 15 blankets. It's just a cold day, and right here at my camp, I don't have enough service to look at the weather for the rest of the weekend. But hopefully it gets better. Because I really want to go fishing. It poured off and on all day. Um, It started, it was like actually just kind of like misting a little bit for a while while I was checking out campsites. And then it started raining super hard and then it stopped again, which is now. But it's kind of sad news that I'm not going to be able to access a lot of my favorite fishing spots for probably a couple months because we had such a high snow year. And that was why I didn't get to fly fish a lot this winter, so it's kind of sad. And there's a lot of other places I can fish, but you guys know how it is when you get your heart set on a place and you're like, oh, I can't wait to fish this place, and then you just can't get there. And... That's true for a lot of different places that I checked out today. (laughs) So sad. But I want to ask you guys which one of those campsites that I showed you. I didn't show you all of them. I forgot sometimes to film. But which ones that of the ones that you saw did you like the best? There's some others that I wasn't able to get to because of snow. So they'll have to be later in the year. But there's a couple in particular that have really amazing views, and I wasn't able to get to them today, but I'm really excited to show you Another really good one is in this beautiful red rock country that I also really like. It has a really beautiful view, but not a lot of shade. So I have to be careful with the shade thing because of Brookie. Sometimes I have to leave her in the trailer, and she needs at least decent survivable temperatures, not like 100 degree desert heat, you know? She'd probably be fine, but this little trailer could really hold some heat sometimes. Brookie is going to town on the water, which is a good thing. She already ate her little snack. She's been running about, and and now she's drinking all her water. And now she's here. Brookie! Brookie!
cutie girl. Well, you guys, after a little nap, it's getting close to about prime time for deer, so I decided I'm gonna go look for some deer. Um, I'm not gonna get crazy and like hike around too much or anything because it's still so early in the season, it's May. So they're just gonna have a little tiny velvet on their head. But it's never too early to start looking for deer and scouting. And I actually was gonna tell you guys that since the weather's so bad, and it might be so bad this entire weekend, that um, I might just end up scouting for deer a lot and setting trail cameras because I would hope to have a Utah deer tag this year. Um, I haven't gotten the results yet. You do have to draw out for it, but it's it hasn't even been any years, so I should get it this year. I didn't get it last year because I do Dedicated Hunter where you get to shoot two deer out of three years. and that third year last year I wasn't allowed to, I didn't have any deer left so I should get it but you never know and it makes me nervous because I'm kind of banking on it like that velvet mule deer is like my favorite hunt in the world just general season I love putting the work into it so I'm just gonna pretend I have it just in case I do get it even though I could not and I'm gonna start scouting for it, start setting cameras in new spots, seeing what I can figure out this year. It's been so wet, everyone's saying it's gonna be such a good year for antler growth, and I believe it. So I'm hoping I get a tag, and I'll put all the work into it now, so later when all the snow melts, I can fish. I still have some fishing spots I can try. Brookie, quit looking. Brookie! <sighs> I still have some fishing spots I can try, so I'm probably going to do that, but um, tomorrow I think I might scout, so you never know though. Stay tuned for that video, we'll see what it's going to be like, but I just want to say once again thank you so much for watching you guys and following me around different campsites today. I feel confident that I have different ones to move around. People always ask me, how do you live on public land and what are the rules? And I'm definitely going to share that with you. Probably one of these next videos, I will make an episode where I just give you all the details about living in a trailer, how to make it work, where to go, what to look for in campsites, and um, who to call for the rules. Because this is my fourth year doing it now, and I've had some troubles, let me tell you, because... It's actually not as easy as you think it would be. So I'm going to share all that info with you so that you guys don't make the mistakes I made because it's hard to find the laws and it's it shouldn't be so hard, but that's a story for another day. But I would love to tell you guys all about it just so that we're on the same page and so that if you, any of you guys want to do it, you can go do it. The biggest thing I always get asked or get told on Instagram is, I wish I could do that. And I always want to be like, you can do that. <laughs> you can. I don't really always say that, but the truth is anybody can do this. Maybe not when you're married and you have a bunch of kids and you have a big committed family and all that, but most people can do this. It's easier than you think. So, enough rambling on. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Brooke, you appreciates it too. If you like this video and like my Charlie Living videos, please subscribe for more. Subscribing, liking, and commenting my videos goes a long, long way. So thank you to everyone that does it. I try and get back to all the comments. And I will continue to do that forever and always. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. Good night from Queen Brookie. You hear her little purr? Slept all day and she's still tired. Cats amaze me. They sleep so much. I bundled her all up. She's such a sweetie. Staying warm in here. Good night, little baby.
broken